Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Hey, y'all, today I'm doing something. A video is kind of different than I normally do. This is non scripted, meaning not I'm really scripted, but you guys take a lot of preparation what I'm doing. I know what I'm going to do, but I just have stuff measured out. You're going to just see me cook as I go today. Uh, I just got off work. Before I went to work this morning, I usually wake up at 3 30, 4 o'clock in the morning. And it's 5 p.m. right now. I just get home like 5 o'clock. I leave home at 5. So, you I have a 12-hour day. And then I get home, like I tell y'all, I cook every day. Every day I cook. So, when I get home, even when I'm tired, I cook myself a meal. So, when I left this morning to go to work, I said, I want me some turkey and dressing. I want some dressing. This is, this is, this is actually Tuesday, uh, April 27th. This is not Thanksgiving, this is not Christmas, not even the weekend. I want me some dressing. So I said, I got a chicken. I always have whole chickens in the, I always have whole chickens that I have processed. These are processed chickens that I have processed for me. I all have super clean and bagged up. You see how I, uh, I cry back them and bag them? And y'all know I use, I make my, have my own sauce. I have a lot of my proteins processed because I know what's in them. And I know how it's made and instead of buying them in the store. I try to have my meat processed. But anyway, I had cornbread. You know, the cornbread I had left over from, uh, from Sunday. And I let it sit out and dry out for me. So I wanted to make some dressing and some baked chicken. So I'm, today I'm making baked chicken and dressing. Chicken and dressing. That's what I'm making. So I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to do this. I'm going to set this cornbread back over here on the stove to the side. I don't need it right now. And I'm going to really do this just like I'm working in the kitchen and y'all in here. I had some celery getting old here. I got some celery coming tomorrow from my Imperfect Food Box. I need to get rid of this celery. Of course, I always have onions. So I'm going to chop that up in just a second. First thing I need to do, though, is get this chicken in the oven baking off. This is going to really take the longest. And while the chicken is baking off in the oven, I'll uh, put my dressing stock together. I put my chicken over here in the sink. I'm gonna wash it off here. Wash it off a little here and get my trash can here next to me. Like I say, usually I have things measured out, but I want to do this just like I'm coming home with no video going and just cooking from the like I'm cooking uh with no video. So I'm gonna wash this, rinse this chicken off right quick. Get it all rinsed up. I'm gonna put some oil on here and some salt and pepper. Let me spray them. I got my pan right here. Like I say, I'm gonna kind of keep y'all on as long as I can while I'm cutting out and going to the coming back later. So I'm gonna spray my pan here, my roasting pan. It's gonna be for my chicken. Put my chicken in here. I'm gonna turn it upside down first. I'm put some oil. I got some oil all over here on the on the back of the stove here. All that. I got my salt and pepper. Put a lot of salt on here. Let me wash my hands here, y'all. I don't definitely don't like the cross contaminate. You got to be careful with chicken. Okay. All right. Got my hands clean here. Make sure y'all can see this. Oh yeah, y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put my little cabinets here on the other side here. Now, get my tongs here. Put this, put this chicken over. Put a little oil on the other side. This little oil I have, keep it on top of the stove, y'all. That's all it is. Nice flavorful oil. Chicken grease. Fried chicken grease. Y'all know better than that, huh? All right, season that with kosher salt, white pepper. Put the little cabinets on here. And that's it. I'm going to put this in the oven. But first, I'm going to fold the little wings back so it'll set back. It'll set in the... I'm going to put the wings here and kind of set them back up in there. That way, when I put in the pan with the dressing, the wings will stick, won't be sticking out. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little water in here, in the bottom of the pan here. So it don't dry out too much. I'm going to back y'all up a little. Put it in the oven here. OK. 
Okay, got that in the oven. Now, now what I'm gonna do here, clean this off. Salt pep up out the way. Like I said, y'all, I try to have this meal done in about an hour and a half. This whole meal will be done, y'all. So we'll. Like I said, I woke up at 3.30 this morning, 4 o'clock, like I always do. I wake up that early to kind of answer emails and messages and stuff and try to be out of the house by 5 o'clock. So I say, man, I want me some turkey and dress. I mean, some chicken and dressing. And that's exactly what I'm going to make. So I'm going to cut this celery down. Like I say, this celery was going bad. And I say, I need to use this up anyway. Cut the tops off of here, and then we're gonna wash this off. Try to use the best part of the celery, and this is the only thing I could do with this celery anyway, but use it in a stock. So what's the best thing to do? But use it in my dressing stock, right? So let me rinse this off a little. And y'all know my dressing; it's not gonna simmer as long as it normally do. Y'all know I'm gonna make it pretty much. Y'all know my dressing. I don't use no cream or mushroom and no cream or nothing when I make my dressing, y'all. It's old school. And you can get. I'm gonna get my vegetables prepped here. And uh make sure y'all can see what I'm doing here. Usually y'all don't I don't really chop on camera. Like I say, that's boring TV for me. Just watching people chop vegetables, it just not, it does nothing to for me. But today, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Put it in the bowl there. Get the other ones chopped up. But yeah, ain't nothing like a good old uh, chicken and dressing, y'all. The chicken gonna take about an hour. I'm gonna let it cook actually 45 minutes. I ain't gonna let it be completely, completely done because you know I'm gonna add it to the dressing. I'm gonna put it on the dressing when the dressing's done, and I'm gonna finish cooking it all the way with the inside on top of the dressing. So the dressing and the chicken will be completely done at the same time. Okay. I got my celery there. Now I'm gonna chop an onion here. Chop an onion up. This chopped up, y'all. Like I said, I'm gonna do a non-traditional video for y'all. It's just like y'all actually, it's kind of different. Maybe I'll do more of these if I get good comments. It's actually like y'all actually in the kitchen cooking with me right now. It's like more like a Facebook Live, really, or YouTube Live. Same thing. Same concept. Right in top of it with the celery, y'all, because they going in the pot together. They going in the pot the same time. Okay. All right. I got the onion celery chopped up. Now, what I'm gonna do now, y'all know I use sausage in my gravy. Even I mean my in my uh dressing base. If you've been watching my channel long enough you know i use sausage for the base so what i'm gonna do here a little bit more oil you know i have the oil i have on the side turn this on which i should have had it already on but i don't and i'm gonna use venison sausage you can use pork sausage you can use turkey sausage i like to use sausage for my base y'all because uh it has a lot of flavor in it and fat in it so i'm gonna move this over here in just a second and let that start getting getting brown there. Wash my hands here. I say, I'm trying to do a whole video here, y'all, without pausing too much. But I got my chicken in the oven. That was the important thing. Get it seasoned in the oven, clean season, and in the oven. 
that's baking off. Now, I'm about to add, as soon as I get this uh, uh, sausage cooked off, let me move this over. Move this over here so y'all can see. I got my sausage in here, getting getting cooked off. I'm gonna rinse this off. Then I'm gonna add my celery and onions to it. I'm gonna add some water to it, some chicken stock. We're gonna let that simmer. I'm gonna add some uh, sage. I don't have fresh sage, but I did find some dried sage here. Look at that, in my uh, cabinet. Look, I got some cranberry sauce I had left over from Christmas time, still in the, so that's gonna be good too. And I'm also gonna fill this up, cause I'm not gonna use all this for the dressing. I'm gonna strain the rest of it and make a gravy for it, for to go on top of the dressing and the chicken. So yeah, so very simple, very easy y'all. Bring a meal together. Show y'all, y'all come home after work and make y'all some, if you got the stuff, most people do, and make you some homemade uh, chicken and dressing right when you get off work. Like I said, I still got my uniform on. I ain't even went upstairs. I ain't took off my shoes. I'm cooking with my shoes on. They tell you how bad, it, how, how uh, motivated I am to get this done. So, you know, I cook bare feet. So, so anyway, we're going to let this render off. I'm definitely going to cut this off right now. I'm gonna come back soon, just render off, and I'm gonna show y'all how I put the celery and onions and stuff in it, and we'll go from there. So I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay, my meat's rendered down. I'm gonna put my uh, onions and celery in here. And this is gonna take about 45 minutes. By the time this is ready, the chicken be ready. And I'm gonna put the dressing together. And uh, put it back. This whole meal gonna take about an hour and a half. To put together turkey and chicken and I keep saying turkey chicken and dressing done in an hour and a half who would have thought okay I got my uh put a lot of let me take this top over here I'm gonna put my sage in here we're gonna make a powerful stock right now y'all put my sage in here oh this smells amazing okay I use a little of this uh I don't have no actual chicken stock. I'm going to put some bouillon base in here. You have to be very careful because this stuff can be very salty, y'all. So be careful with this. Put this up in here. Now I'm going to add water to this, hot water. I'm going to add water to this and just let this simmer. This is going to be the base for my dressing. I want this to get really, I want this onion and celery to boil and be so tender. I don't like no crunchy celery in, in, in my dressing. I don't like it. I'm not like y'all, I told y'all before, I'm not a celery fan. I just like the flavor of the celery. I don't want to be able to be biting on celery. I don't like to eat, eat dressing and the dressing and the onions and celery is hard. I just don't like that. So I, I boil my base really, really long time. So we're gonna let this boil about 45 minutes. By the time the chicken get ready, this base will be ready. And I'm making a lot, like I told y'all, because I'm gonna make gravy out of this too. I'm gonna strain this base, and I'm gonna make some gravy to go on top of my chicken and top of my gravy, and by top of my dressing. So let's mix this up. That's my base for my dressing right there. Like I said, I don't use no cream of mushroom or no cream of chicken soup. I don't use that. I don't use no canned products in dressing. That's not old school. That's not homemade dressing when you're putting cream or soup in it. It's just not the same. So, I'm going to let that boil. Cover this up. I like to leave a little, uh, let it breathe a little. I might have to add a little bit more sage to this. I'm going to put my cranberry sauce to the side. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to crumble my cornbread up, go and get it crumbled. And then I can go get out my uniform, I can go take a shower, relax, because I know the chicken got about 40 minutes to go. I know this got a while ago, so I can, nothing I can do. So let me get a, a bowl here. Like I say, y'all, this is not scripted. This is real, uh, real cooking here, y'all. Okay, got my bowl here for my cornbread. Okay, let me get some gloves on. I don't want to get my hands messy, and I and, and uh, even though my hands is clean, I don't like getting my hands too messy, y'all. 
like I say, y'all, let me move this over here so y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm going to get my cornbread, real cornbread, here. Okay. Get this cornbread up in this bowl. Get this right here. Now all I'm going to do is just crumble this up, y'all. And this cornbread is very good because it's dry. I've had it sitting out since Sunday. I ate a few pieces of it. My neighbors came, my friends came over, but they're they not cornbread eaters, y'all. They eat all the uh, neck bones and cabbage, but they're not really cornbread eaters, so hey. It's all good. They like regular bread. Oh my, hey, but yeah. They're not old, old school like me. So I'm going to crumble this up. Okay, that's the that's my base for the that's my bread for my dressing right there. Okay, so we almost home here, y'all. Remember, we got our uh, we got our got our uh, stock here going. Let me see if I smell. You know what? I got a little sage here. Let me put a little bit more sage in here. Okay, how much I got left in here? I don't want to put too much. There we go. I like a lot of sage in my dressing, y'all. I don't have no fresh sage, so I got to use the dry, which will work. I just have to use a little bit more. So, all right. I just want this to simmer. I want this to boil. I don't want it to simmer. I want it to boil. Clean up here, make a little mess there. Okay, now, I'm going to go ahead go upstairs here. I'm going to relax. I'm going to take a shower, read a few emails. Check a few messages there, because nothing I can do. I got to wait on the chicken to get ready. Once the chicken get ready, I'm going to use that chicken juice to come off the chicken. I'm going to pour this in here also. I'm going to crack about four or five eggs. Matter of fact, I can do that right now and let it be room temperature. We can do that right now, y'all, while we waiting here. Get some eggs here. I'm going to get my eggs cracked. This going to be for the dressing. Move this over here. Y'all can see. It's gonna go in the dressing too, y'all. This is what's gonna bind it together. These are small eggs, so we gotta use five of them. Usually, if they weren't that small, they would be four. So, move these over. Okay. Let me get my fork here. We're gonna mix these eggs up. Like I say, let them be room temperature. That'll work out perfect. I'm going to mix these up. And this going to be the, it's going to bind my dressing together. You know, you got to have eggs in it to bind it. Make the dressing set up. So I'm going to let them eggs sit there in room temperature. So we all said we got our, we got our uh, cornbread. We got our eggs, we got our base for the dressing. All we do is waiting on the chicken because I'm going to pour that chicken juice into this to give it even more flavor. So anyway, we'll be back in about 40 minutes and we're going to put this meal together. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. Okay, I just took the chicken out of the oven. Here it is right here. I got my stock here simmering. I'm going to cut this off because I don't need it simmering anymore. Hold on just a second. Okay, y'all, I had to get my pan for my dressing. Get it. Bring it up here. Okay. Okay, I got my chicken here, y'all. It's ready. So what I'm going to do, see that extra juice on that chicken, I'm going to pour it in here. Oh, that's flavor. And this chicken is not completely cooked, y'all. It's like three quarters of the way cooked because I'm gonna use the rest. I'm gonna cook it in the dressing the rest of the way. So it's got about, about 20 more minutes to, to cook to be ready. Okay, got the stock here. Okay, now we're gonna put our dressing together. Let me get a label, ladle, ladle, ladle here. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this stock. 
Make sure I move it around <clears throat> so I can get all that meat in there too. I love meat in my dressing, y'all, and that sauce is gonna be the meat. Sauce is gonna be the meat there. Okay. I'll move it around here and see. See, uh, just a second here. Soak all that cornbread up in there. And you want your dressing to be very soupy. You don't want it to be dry. Put a bit more stock in here. Okay. Now, remember you got to add the eggs in here too. So, I don't want to add too much stock. Okay, now. I'm going to add the eggs in here. And stir them up. Then I'll stir it up in here. It's gonna be uh, definitely gonna be make the dressing sit up, y'all. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. That's what I want right there, y'all. That's the consistency I'm looking for. Okay. We'll move the chicken here out the way for a second. Pan over here for my dressing. I already sprayed. Pour that in there. Put that out there. Okay. Now, get my chicken back over here. I'm gonna set my chicken right in there. We're right down in there. Now I'm gonna cover this for the first. I'm going to cook this for 20 minutes, but I'm going to cover it for the first 15 minutes. I'm going to cover this up because I don't want my chicken to get any darker. I'm going to make sure my dressing get real, really uh, cooked. So I'm going to cook it 15 minutes, cover it. And then after that, another five or six minutes uncovered. So we'll be right back when this thing is completely done. Like I say, this didn't take long at all. I'll be right back, y'all. Once I get in the oven, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay, y'all remember I said I'm gonna make uh, oh my little, I'm gonna make some gravy for my turkey. So what I'm gonna do? Remember the stock right out there? All I'm gonna do is strain it in here, y'all. Strain in this pot here. All I'm going to do right quick. This is going to be my base for the gravy. So we're just killing two birds with one stone, y'all. Two birds with one stone. This is nice, rich stock to make gravy with. I could actually make it, the gravy, without even straining it. But I just want to make a nice, smooth gravy. Nice smooth brown gravy here. Okay. All that flavor out of there. Get up in there. I think I'll just pull that back in there like that, y'all. Put this over here. Cover this up. Now y'all know I always have roux here. And roux, all roux is, y'all. I'm gonna let this come up to a boil. All of which is already the boiling. All really is, I'll say it again, it's 50% butter, melted butter, and 50% flour. That's all it is, y'all. That's all really is. Everybody always asks, what is root? What is root? That is root. 50% flour, 50% melted butter. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna cook this. I don't want a real thick gravy. I want a nice light gravy. And I'm gonna put, actually put black pepper in this. To give it that extra ump, you know. And I warm this roux up a little, y'all. You like keeping it in the fridge. It'll stay pretty much forever. And this ain't gonna take long to thicken, you know, because it's already, the, the uh, stock was already hot. I'm gonna let that come up to a full boil there. To get the total strength of the roux there. And our gravy will be ready here. Like I say, this takes no long, this takes no time at all, y'all. 
And all I gotta do is wait on my dressing and my dinner is ready. And it's been right now, it's 48 minutes. It's 5.48 now, I started this at five o'clock. So like I say, you can make you can make a meal like this in an hour. In one hour you can have turkey and chicken and dressing. And I could have made the cornbread from scratch too and still within the hour and still made it within the hour. I could have did the cornbread, could have been cooking the same time the chicken was cooking and while I'm making the stock on top of the stove. So that's boiling and getting some black pepper. I didn't use black pepper much, but I do like using it in my gravies, y'all. So I'm gonna put a little black pepper in this turkey gravy. I keep saying turkey, y'all. Turn this down a little. I don't want this gravy too thick. I just want it to kind of flow over the dressing and the and the and the chicken. See that? That's all I want. I don't want a thick gravy. I just want a nice thin one, just like this. That's all I want. Nice thin gravy. That's it. Let me taste it here to make sure. Good and seasoned. I got a real seasoned stock, so I know it shouldn't be. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. That's definitely good, y'all. Definitely good. Real seasoned. I'm gonna turn that off. Grave is ready. Cover it up. And we'll be back in about 15 minutes when the turkey and dressing is keep saying turkey. Whenever the dressing and chicken is ready, and we'll see how it tastes. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back. The chicken and dressing is ready. It took exactly an hour and 15 minutes for this dish to be ready. And I'm about to eat supper here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to plate up a little here for y'all. Y'all can see how it is here. Get a little dressing out of here. See how, see how moist that dressing is, y'all? Look at that. That's what you want your dressing to be. Nice and moist, not dry. Okay, get a little drumstick here. See how tender that uh, chicken is, y'all? Oh yeah, put a little cheap drumstick on there. Nice and juicy chicken here. Oh yeah, that's what you want. Chicken nice and juicy. It's so juicy, the juice is just running out of it. Okay. Let's see what y'all can see this. Oh yeah. Remember that nice gravy I made? Nice gravy here, but just a little gravy on the dressing, a little on the chicken there. Y'all know I got me some cranberry sauce here. That's that old, this is a really old school cranberry sauce right here. Let me get a knife here. Move this over. Ooh, that's hot. A little color of cranberry sauce here. Go on top of that dressing. Get me a fork. And it's about to be on now. Okay, this is so hot. I gotta really watch it. Mm. Dressing nice and moist. Mm. Mm. Feels like Thanksgiving, y'all. Feels like, tastes like Thanksgiving in here. Smell like Thanksgiving. Fried chicken. Nice moist chicken. Mm. Chicken is perfectly cooked. Nice and juicy. Hey. Look at this, y'all. That's a plate like that. That's a meal. You can make it home in an hour. Chicken and dressing. Feed your family chicken and dressing. In an hour. In the same amount of time for you to order those, what do y'all sell them? DoorDash or them Uber Eat things? Take an hour for it and get to your house. It'd be made a whole meal like this. Like I said, y'all, I cook every day. I'm about to get on the phone here. I got a, might have to make a little delivery. I got an elderly lady and she can't drive. And I know she would love to have this for supper tonight. So, I'm going to drop her a plate off. I'm going to call a couple other people. We're going to pick up, come pick up a plate. Because I can't eat all this, but oh my God, this is good, y'all. 
One more bite, and I'm gonna close this video out. Nice moist dressing. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Let me close this video out, y'all. Let me show y'all something on this breast. Before I close out. How juicy this breast is. Look at this. Look how juicy. See how look how juicy that breast is. Chicken breast. Nice and juicy. See that? Not dry. Very juicy. Look at that. Mmm. Very flavorful. But anyway, let me close this video out. Where I can eat supper. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please comment. Please give this thumbs up. The thumbs up really, really helps more than anything, y'all. The comments and the thumbs up helps me so much a lot with the with the uh, YouTube algorithm. After algorithm, I help everybody else see the video. And please subscribe. A lot of people watch the video, but they don't subscribe. So. Follow by all my other social media accounts. I'm kind of took up, y'all. I got <clears throat> dressing caught in my throat. Hold on. <clears throat> I told y'all this is live here. I'm not editing nothing. But follow my other social media accounts. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag this year? Help somebody. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. I love y'all. Ain't nothing y'all can do about it. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.